Hi there, my name's Sam. If you're wondering who I am, I am the guy that runs giantpumpkins.co.nz. I built the website, I update the website, and a lot of the time I'm trying to grow a giant pumpkin in a very small space. I like to call it the tiny patch. This is version 2.0. If you watch this a lot, uh, or you're signed up to the newsletter, of course you are part of the GPNZ crew. So, hello and welcome. We're a month and a bit away from growing giant pumpkins here in New Zealand, and you know, lots of growers would have done patch prep early on in the season, but for backyard growers like myself, you know what, we just haven't got around to it. So, I am going to cover my patch in a sec with some uh, black polythene uh, to kill the grass off because I want as much soil as possible to help my pumpkin plant when I get it sorted and growing later on. We'll see how all that goes. Now, if you haven't grown before, that's okay. It's a lot of fun. Anybody can do it. You can almost do it on any size and any budget. I know some people will disagree with me on that, but I've done it in smaller areas than this area here. I've managed to get a giant pumpkin grown, and I've had lots of fun doing it. I like trying new things, seeing how it goes. And why would you want to grow a giant pumpkin? Like I said, it's fun. You get to learn new things. You get to meet interesting people, and you have great stories to share with people, even if your pumpkin doesn't quite make it to the end of the season. I've been doing this a long time now, and uh, I see people come and go from the hobby or sport, whichever way you want to think about it, but that's okay. You can drop in and out whenever you want. It's great to do it with the family and the kids, and lots more people are having work competitions or competitions with um, friends and family or even at schools so it's great to see what do you need you need a pumpkin seed of course Atlantic Giant more information on that is on the website uh, I'm always updating it this year uh, it's a bit different for me I have got a new job so that takes up a lot of my time Monday to Friday but I do have more time out of hours and I have the weekends free which I didn't used to have so we're going to have to see how all that pans out and just how much work I actually put in because the more work you put in the better results you're going to get with anything in life okay it's time to go check it out and then um, pull out the polythene from last year peg it down and just let it do its thing for a while and we will see how that goes one thing that you should really uh, keep track of are the pegs that you used last season on the polythene for this season I have no idea where they went I've got four probably need a few more uh, this year different the thing I'm doing different is uh, I've only got a small patch that I'm killing the grass off the other stuff I'll either spray or dig out and um, just see how it goes I just really want to concentrate on just a smaller area um, because by the time the plant grew to where the other stuff was missing last year it had sort of grown again so who knows let's see as always, I am Sam from giantpumpkins.co.nz. You can check out everything at giantpumpkins.co.nz, uh, including links to social media and things like that. Check out the other videos on this YouTube channel. Um, sign up for blog updates if you want that, or join the crew. You'll see the pop-up, and you can join the monthly, sometimes monthly, newsletter that I send out to growers from all around the world. Anyway, until then, take care. I'll see you in the next video.